Hello, welcome to day two of our Home is the Key virtual lunchtime get-together. For those of you whom I've not met, I'm Will McLaughlin, St. Lucie Habitat for Humanity's Restore Director. On behalf of all of us here at St. Lucie Habitat, we're really glad you tuned in. On today's episode, you're going to hear from Bob Calhoun about how Habitat works. Gary and Darlene Stockman will explain how Habitat homeowners are selected, and Donna Lee Askman will impart the benefits of our self-help model. You'll also hear from homeowner Jennifer Fargus and watch a really cool video about volunteering with Habitat. Settle in and enjoy. The seeds of Habitat for Humanity were planted in Southeast Georgia 45 years ago as a biblically based housing program that operates a self-help model of achieving home ownership. With contributions from the community, paired with the will and desire to earn the opportunity to achieve homeownership, families and communities are enhanced. Habitat families are provided with a uniquely affordable mortgage that defines their homeownership opportunity. And as their mortgage payments are made, those payments create additional homeownership opportunities. A way to visualize this is that as Habitat manages the resources to build two Habitat homes, once completed, the mortgages of those two Habitat homes help create a third Habitat home. Hi, I'm Gary Stockman, and I'm here with Darlene Schimmel Stockman. We serve on the Homeowner Selection and Support Committee, and today we'd like to tell you a little bit about the committee's work. A question that we often get is, how do you select somebody to become a Habitat homeowner? Well, it is a process and it consists of several steps. The process starts when Habitat has properties available, either for a new home build or for existing home rehabilitation. Habitat opens the application process to members of the community by posting it on their website. Staff and committee members conduct orientation workshops to inform those interested on how to apply for home ownership. The application period lasts about 30 days. As applications are submitted, Habitat office staff ensure that they are complete and that all supporting documentation is included. Applications are then submitted to the underwriting committee for review. Volunteer underwriters take a detailed look at the file. The purpose of the review is to determine if applicants meet all of Habitat's criteria. That includes first verifying that the applicant is a U.S. citizen or has permanent legal status. Second, confirming that the applicant has lived or worked in St. Lucie County for at least the past 12 months. Third, documenting the applicant's sources of income and then determining if that income falls within the minimum and maximum amounts allowed. Fourth, reviewing a credit report to ensure that the applicant does not have excessive debt, and finally determining if the applicant has a history of criminal conviction. If the applicant, applicant meets all of these criteria, then their file is forwarded to the Habitat Homeowner Selection and Support Committee for further action. Committee members are then assigned in teams of two to make a home visit to each qualified applicant. The purpose of the visit is to verify that the applicant has a need for housing based on Habitat criteria and that the applicant is willing and able to partner with Habitat in the construction or rehabbing of their home. The visit lasts approximately one hour, during which time committee members meet household members, tour the home, discuss the responsibilities of becoming a Habitat homeowner, and answer questions the applicant and household members might have. A report is prepared of the findings and a recommendation is made whether the applicant should be considered for home ownership. The full committee discusses each home visit report results and determines which applicants to recommend to our board of directors. Because there may be more qualified applicants than properties available, the committee prioritizes applicants based on the greatest need. The number referred to the board for final approval is consistent with the number of properties available. If approved by the Board of Directors, applicants are notified and enter the next step toward home ownership 
by becoming what we refer to as homeowners in process. Right. So that's the short version of how someone is selected to become a Habitat homeowner. Thanks for watching and please stay safe. Thank you. Hi, I'm Donna Lee Askman, St. Lucie Habitat's Program Director. In most U.S. markets, a mortgage is more affordable than rent. In St. Lucie County, a basic two-bedroom, two-bath apartment is around $1,400 a month. What? $1,400 for a two-bedroom apartment? Yeah. Let's put that into perspective. Let's agree that in order for a home to be affordable, it shouldn't cost more than 30% of your household income. With a $1,400 a month rental payment, a wage earner would need to make $56,000 a year. That's $29 an hour for each person, or $15 an hour if you have two people. Most available jobs in our county fall well below that wage. At St. Lucie Habitat, we can get home buyers into decent new homes with a lower monthly mortgage payment than the average two-bedroom, two-bath rental. Here in Florida, Habitat for Humanity homeowners contribute $12 million annually in real estate taxes. The average Habitat Home for Humanity homeowner saves 60% monthly compared to renting. Let me go over four major categories that imp are improved by owning a home. First, there is education. Children of homeowners are more, more likely to stay in school until age 17. They outperform others in math and reading, have a higher graduation rate by 19% and are twice as likely to go to college. They have fewer behavior pro problems and they are more likely to earn more money as adults. Next, there is health. After moving into their habitat home, 74% of homeowners report overall health improvement. A safe, decent home may prevent asthma, lead poisoning, developmental issues, among a lot of other things. Third, there is wealth. 53% of Habitat homeowners state that they have more money since moving into their Habitat home, and two-thirds feel like they will be able to send their kids to college. And lastly, safety and security. A safe, decent home signif significantly reduces the household's incident of crime. 84% of Habitat homeowners feel safer in their new neighborhood and their new home. Jennifer and Orlando are among those. They became Habitat homeowners on November 3rd, 2017. They have three beautiful children and they turned their Habitat house into a warm, inviting home full of love and laughter. Abel and Amaryllis are also Habitat homeowners and they are their neighbors. They moved in just two weeks later. These families have become fast friends and they are a great support system for each other. Let's listen to Jennifer's heartfelt words. Hi, my name is Jennifer and these are my children and we would like to say thank you to Habitat for Humanity because we are so blessed that we can be living in a place that we can call our home. With everything going on in this world with this pandemic, everyone is uh, stressed with anxiety but we can truthfully say that we have a peace in our heart because we have just taken this time to just appreciate one another, to build the bonds with each other in our beautiful house that Habitat for Humanity made happen. We will forever be thankful and grateful for Habitat for Humanity and we just wanna say thank you so much for, for blessing the Fargus family.
Hi, this is Dana Trabolsi with All Things Treasure Coast and the Treasure Coast Business Summit. Wow, after that episode of Home is the Key, I feel like getting out my hammer and helping other families just like Jennifer's. Can you imagine what it would be like to have more affordable homes for our workforce here in St. Lucie County? Can you imagine there would be more families paying property taxes, more families with disposable income, more families being able to give back to the community? I can, and that's why I became a recurring donor with St. Lucie Habitat, and you can too. It's easy. Just visit stlucyhabitat.org or text 772-324-5033 and the word key. That's 772-324-5033 and the word key. Thank you. Hi, this is Melissa Winstead, and that's a wrap of today's episode of St. Lucie Habitat for Humanity's Virtual Home is the Key. We hope you enjoyed hearing about all the ways habitat impacts our community, and we hope you can tune in with us again tomorrow afternoon. You'll find the link to our next episode at the bottom of your screen, and if we have your email address, you'll receive the link in your inbox. Please share that link with all your friends. In the meantime, if you have any questions about today's episode, or you'd like to get involved in our work, give us a call at 772-464-1117. We'll see you tomorrow.